shield. So for a motherboard, I went with an Asus M5A99FX Pro R2.0 and 3 Plus AMD 990FX SATA, 8 gigabytes USB 3.0 ATX AMD motherboard with UEFI BIOS. Um, this does, I believe, can, yeah, it does have four, uh, memory slots, um, which I'm going to use, which we are going to use all of those up in a second, I don't think we're going to be upgrading your RAM very much, but yeah, there's a motherboard, I'll just zoom in, uh, I'll go through the pictures real quick. That just shows you like some things and push on this thing, that mouse port, keyboard port, USB ports, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And then here it'll just show you all that stuff. The the PCI Express slot, all that stuff. Um, and then it just shows the bottom here. Just the bottom. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, and it just shows the bottom. Um, and then for our, um, video card. Oh, by the way, before I do anything, this is a, um, this is a really overpowered computer. So, if, unless you have, like, the all the money to do this. And, and you want something like really awesome to game like this thing will play like anything at like 60 fps but yeah we have our gigabyte um 770 4 gigabyte <coughs> wind force 3x 4 450 watt video card so that is gonna use up a lot. Then just shows the box here with it, and there it is. And so next we have our power supplier Antec High Current Gamer Series, a 900 watt power supply. Which is, I went with this because just our um, just our video card alone takes 450 watts, so it's going to do the job for us here. Um, next, I'll just run through the videos real quick. Then just the box. Um, for our keyboard, I went with a Razer Deathstalker Ultimate Gaming Keyboard. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good game keyboard. So yeah, and then for a monitor, I went with the Hand G, um, black 27 inch HDMI widescreen LED uh blacklight LCD monitor, um, with a uh, built-in speakers in it. So if you don't have a headset, there are some built-in speakers there. It does come with a um, with a VGA cable, a monitor cable, a power cord and the QG disc and then the monitor and then just the box so yeah all right next we have our mouse which is a Razer Ouroboros Excedros PC gaming mouse so yeah it's a pretty good mouse um it does cost a lot of money so yeah but yeah, next up we have our RAM. We have G-Skill Ripjaw Z series, 32 gigabyte, four times eight gigabyte um, sticks of RAM. As you can see, these are pretty good uh, sticks of RAM here. Uh, they are DDR3, 18 and 66. So we'll be able to support it on our uh, motherboard here. And then for our CPU, we have our AMD FX 95090 Gearshell 4.7 GHz socket, 
8 core desktop processor black edition with liquid cooling kit. Uh, it does come with Far Cry, Korea, Far Cry 3 Blood Drive Blood Dragon, so pretty nice $20 gift you get there. Um, next we have Cooler Master, um, Sleeve Varian, we have fans, you're gonna need them guys, this build is going to get pretty hot, cause as you can see we have a lot of stuff, and it is gonna get hot, so, for, um, uh, 1200 millimeter, uh, Cooler Master, Sleeve Varian, Silent Fan for computer cases, CPU coolers, and radiators. And then for our last thing, we have a case, which is a NZXT Phantom num No Power Supply ATX Full Tower Case Black Edition. So this is going to be a very large amount of money. And yeah, so our whole build here is $2,187. Like, I would never ever like even think of buying this but if you guys are so crazy that you want to buy this go ahead and get it it's all on newegg.com or see it uh or ca if you're in canada or there might be a dot uk one which you should be using right now Alright, yeah, there is no .uk, so I guess you should have to go on .com for UK, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this uh, build. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want this, um, I'll, um, I, I guess I'll put it all in the description below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.